Okay, today, let's just start seated. We're going to do a yin yoga practice for the earth element. The earth element in Chinese medicine is our stomach and spleen meridians. As you probably know from being alive all your life, stomach is food we eat, the food chi, we get chi from our breath, we get food, we get chi from our food. And this is the energy that we use to stay alive. Our spleen turns the stomach we eat into the energy we need. It extracts the nutrients and to just keep us going, keep us motivated and moving. So when our stomach and spleen are out of balance, we might feel anxious. We might have repetitive thoughts going through our mind, overthinking. We might feel like our mind can't be still. And we bring our earth element into balance just through grounding shapes where we just let go and we just remind ourselves that we can't train our mind to be still. It's like trying to go to sleep. The more you try to go to sleep, the more you stay awake. So you can't really tell your mind to be still. All you can do is train it. So let's start. We might just start as we always do. Just allow yourself to arrive into the practice. Maybe you're aware already of busy thoughts this morning, things you need to do, places you would have been if we weren't in lockdown. Just allow those thoughts to be there. Just notice where they're taking you. And you might just feel like you're dropping an anchor just on the mat for the next half hour or so. Allowing this sense of stillness, moving away from that mind, the thing that it does where it tries to control the future. Just allowing whatever is present to be here. You might like to just notice how your body feels at the start of practice. Maybe you can relax the shoulders a little. Maybe bring the elbows a little closer to the ribs. Allow your sit bones to be heavy. Maybe start to notice the inhale and exhale of the breath. trying to change your breath pattern just give each breath all the time it needs to fully express itself just come back to the next breath notice the pattern All right, let's take our arms down by the side of the body, turn the palms up. We'll inhale to reach up, reach wide and high. Exhale, side out. Invite new energy, new learning into the body. And then Maybe let go of a little bit of that busyness. Whatever problem your mind is trying to solve, just come back to the breath. All right, we're gonna to start today's practice in a child's pose. So just come down. Untuck the toes at the back, take the sit bones all the way down to the heels. Take the hands behind the body, knuckles to the ground. And you might just allow the head to be heavy onto the floor. If you feel like your head can't quite reach the floor, you might like to take a bolster and just lean on that. Forehead down, whatever works for you. 
Allow the shoulders to be heavy, so the spine will be a little bit curved. And once you feel like your body is still, see if you can bring your attention back to the breath. You might consciously bring your breath into the abdomen, the very base of your belly, feeling this expansion through the belly. You might become conscious of it connecting with the hips, the thighs. Maybe as you keep breathing, the rib cage extends wider. You might like to scan through the body and just see if there's anything else we can relax or soften. Just feeling into the support of the ground beneath. If you find your mind still racing forward, just come back to the next breath, the one coming up. And as we sigh out, you might just, if you can sigh out whatever is present, maybe just ask, what are the opportunities of today? of this practice, of this day. Let's take three more breaths in this shape. Let's feel the ribs expanding out, belly pressing into the body. When you're ready, slowly press the hands under the body. We'll bring the head up. We're going to extend the whole body long. Take the feet away. Drop yourself down onto your elbows. Palms can be flat to the floor. Untuck the toes at the back. Just look down and see that your elbows are underneath the shoulders. And you might like to just Drop the shoulders away from the ears so the neck feels long. You can go a little further away. Tuck the chin in maybe a millimeter or two. Feel the crown of the head reaching forward. As we take our next breath, feel the belly pressing into the mat. Back to our abdominal breath. You might breathe in through the nose and then sigh out through the mouth. Just find your own rhythm with the breath. 
As your belly presses into the mat, you might feel the spine rise up. And as you sink down, feel the tailbone heavy. Everything sinking, surrendering down. If you feel your shoulders are hunched up again towards the ears, just drop them back. As you follow the breath in this shape, you might just keep focus on that movement of the spine. So we can't train our mind to be still. And we're always busy moving about. But as we slow down, as our body becomes still, maybe we can train our mind. Just like we can't teach how to be happy, all we can do is be vigilant to the things that get in the way of happiness. Maybe this idea that we need things, that we want things, Things should be different. So we just come back to the feeling in our body. Hold these rounding shapes. Instead of thinking what else we might need or want, might help us focus on what's present in our life. Take two more breaths here. As you sigh it out, sink deeper. Allow the pelvic bone to press down. When you're ready, take the hands under the shoulders. We'll press ourselves out, up. We're gonna come into a seated position, but we'll keep one knee bent, swing one leg in front of the body. So let's bend our right knee. Take a moment to maybe pull a bit of flesh away from your sit bones and just find that connection with the ground. Extended leg, we might turn the toes in towards the head, press the heel into the mat. Just feel that long extension down the back of the leg. And with our bent knee, we might just bring the foot to but beside the hip bone. You might like to place a blanket or support under it if you feel a little unsteady here. Just take note of where your sit bones are, what sense of balance you have. You might like to bring a bolster or cushion or support into the body, just leaning on it or leaning the head on it. Allow your upper body to be soft. We're looking for strong sensation in the right hip joint. Maybe a little bit under the left leg, hamstring. Just allow upper body to be soft and heavy. Head can hang down.
every shape in a yin yoga practice, we aim to relax our muscles so we can strengthen our joints. Whenever our muscles are engaged, our body sends blood and energy to the muscles and this protects the joints, so they tend to not change too much. When we're still, when we relax the muscles, this is when we can really strengthen our joints, affect this part of our body where we get so much stability. So as you hold this shape, you might just be aware of heart rate slowing down and blood pressure dropping. The sense of allowing and accepting a little bit of discomfort in the body. Knowing that when we move out of the shape, energy, our chi will flush back through all these lines of our body, our connective tissue, our fascia. Maybe sending energy to a place in our body that was a little stiff or a little sore. At the end of the next breath, you might like to just extend the bent leg out. Just take the hands behind the body. Maybe just rock the hips open, taking knees side to side. Just lean back into the hands, chest open. And then we're gonna come straight to the other side. So we'll extend our right leg out, bend the left knee, Bring the ankle beside the hip. We all look a little different in this shape, so just allow your body to, whatever range of movement it has, you might like to pull a bit of flesh away from sit bones again. Flex the extended leg foot, turn the toes in to, towards the body. We want our upper body to be soft, so you might take the bolster again and just lean into it, lean the head on it. Looking for that sensation in the hip joint, maybe in the back of the extended leg. Maybe take a moment to notice whether this side feels a little more open or a little more tense than the other. Once you feel settled into the shape, just come back to the next breath Might feel the belly expand as you breathe in and then sigh out as you let go. You might start to notice whether the mind feels a little more still after just this short amount of practice. Every time we plan the future, we rush ahead, we dilute our ability to enjoy life just as it is. And every time our mind rolls back into the past, living in memories, thinking about what's gone or what, had, what we've lost, 
The past simply holds us back there, prevents us from enjoying here and now. Take two more breaths here. You might like to slowly move the bolster out if you have it there. Take the hands behind the body again. Extend the leg, maybe bring the feet to the floor, rock, open the hips, knees side to side. Just invite that chi to flush back through the body. You might notice hips feel a little different. Maybe not. All right, let's roll back onto our bellies we're going to go a little deeper now and drop our pelvic bone down extend the hands just in front of the body and press up pelvic bone stays heavy and again just roll the shoulders away from the ears take them down drop them back neck long press into the ground strongly with the fingers. And you might just start to come back into the breath. Tailbone heavy, belly expanding as you breathe in. We'll only be here a short time. You might remember that just above your kidneys, are the adrenals, that place in the body that holds stress hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, always flushing through our body, making us rush around. So when we hold a shape like this, we might just be inviting energy to flow back through this blood meridian at the back of our body helping us flow, helping us settle. So we're not always so busy, 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 living in our patterns, our habit energy. We'll just take two more breaths here. And side out, come down all the way, just extend the arms by the side of the body. You might like to just wobble or wiggle from side to side. Just allow everything to be heavy. As you sigh out, let it go. Feel the whole width and depth of the floor, the gas beneath. Nothing to do right now, nowhere to go, nowhere to be.
Let's take our hands under the shoulders. We'll slowly press ourselves up. Take your time. We'll do one more seated shape. Let's come down onto our sit bones. We're going to take our legs wide this time. And again, you might like to press the heels into the mat. Draw the toes in, maybe move a bit of flesh away from sit bones. See if you can grow tall, neck long, crown of the head lifting up, tuck the chin in a little, and then just slowly peel forward. You might like to, again, use the bolster just for a bit of extra support. Hug it in, lean on it. You might come down even lower. This shape, you want to feel a strong sensation down the back of the legs, a little in the hips. Once you feel settled, you might just invite this tiny hint of a smile to the corners of your mouth, relaxing the muscles in the face. So often we hold all the thoughts and emotions of our mind on our face in these distorted grimaces that betray that we're far away. We're not listening. We're not attentive. So right now you might just come back to the breath. Come back to the sounds in the room. Just allowing our attention to come inwards. What can we learn today about ourselves? It's much better to try and understand ourselves than the whole world. come back up to dry our head up. If the boss is there, take it out. We're going to draw the legs close in, come down all the way onto our back. Um, you might like to just take a moment to feel from the base of the tailbone to the back of the head, just the whole spine heavy. Let's extend our right leg long. Left knee, we're going to draw it into the chest. Just wrap the arms around. Once you do this, see if you can drop the shoulders away from the ears again. Maybe drop the shoulders back towards the mat. Upper body is heavy. Take a breath. Side out. Let's extend our left arm wide and heavy, shoulder heavy. Take another breath in. As we sigh out, draw that knee across the body towards the right. Take your time, let it go. Maybe the knee will come down, maybe not. Keeping the shoulder heavy. 
Just allow that twist there in the, right in the base of the spine. Might take another breath and then as you sigh out, maybe twist a little deeper. As you twist, make sure we're not inviting any tension into the jaw, the cheeks. We're not holding our breath. Feel the heart and the chest open, vulnerable. Take two more breaths here. Let's roll back onto the spine. This time we'll extend our left leg long. Take the right leg, hug it into the chest. Find that tailbone again. Trace the tailbone, the spine, all the way up to the back of the neck, back of the skull. Everything heavy. And you drop your shoulders away from the ears, back to the mouth. Take a big breath in. Let's extend our right arm heavy and out to the side as we sigh out and draw the knee across. Keeping the shoulder heavy. Maybe it takes a few breaths to come down and extend and twist. Take one more big breath in the shape. Sigh it out. Roll onto the back. We're going to extend both legs long. Just allow arms to come down by the side of the body. Feet can flop out. Palms face up. You might like to just Extend the arms a little further away from the shoulders. Turn the thumbs wide down to the mat to open out and sink up the shoulder blades a little more. Might like to scan through the body. Anything you can let go of and sink a little deeper. Just let it sigh out.
Just notice wherever your mind is taking you. You might slowly bring attention back into the body, to the next breath. To a smile, maybe. I like to extend out the toes, stretch them out, fingers. Maybe roll through the ankles or wrists, inviting energy back through the body. Let's roll onto our side. And just take a moment here before you get up. When you're ready, press under the shoulders. We'll come and meet in a seated position, bringing our hands to heart center. Let's take a moment just to Feel gratitude to ourselves first, just for decisions come to the mat to prioritize practice. It's a gift for not just us, but everybody in our lives, our family, our community. It's helping move us towards better listening, better attention. Through these things, we can be of more service to those around us, those that need us, those we care about. And then let's also express gratitude to each other just for shared energy and wisdom of practice today. Namaste.